know how to start a video. I am from Ancient Greece. I know it's been three months since my last video. Don't you say a fucking. Welcome back to another creation time lapse tutorial thing. I'm sorry, so early in the game and I already hurt you. This is another kind of creation tutorial video of how I made my pyramid head costume. <coughs> I am super excited about this costume because I love pyramid head. I guess I'm dressed to play date to you. Like all my other videos before, this is just a general over overall walkthrough process of how I did it. If it helps, hell yeah. If not, oh god. <laughs> so if you yourself are a creator or you're a viewer and you're going, no. What the fuck? Please, please, if you're a creator, comment down below a better way to do things that I've done if you if you think so. And then if you're a viewer, please reference the description. I'm putting so many tutorials, links, patterns, and resources for you to find. Uh, so if you see what I'm doing and go, I want to do that, but I just don't, I, she explained that very poorly. Um, go check, ah, go check the description and you can find all that information. Obviously we're going to say that the second uh, Silent Hill game is the superior Silent Hill game of all games. So let's just put that to rest right here, right now. If you want to debate about that in the comments, for sure, go for it, but just know you're wrong. But before we get started with the actual creation process, I would like to read some comments from my previous video, from my Mercy video. The editor is definitely a man of great culture. Can we get some hype in the chat for Eric? Him and I come together and we just go, let's... So, Eric, you can put whatever you want right here, buddy. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Wow, nice. <laughs> Please eat a Swedish fish. For old time's sake. Mm, before you start and you've clicked on this video and you're like, a tutorial? I don't know this girl for tutorials. I don't like this kind of content. If you're sitting there thinking to yourself, now Jessica, well, I am sure this will be a fumbled mess of a crafting creation tutorial, how you made such an intricate piece of dress and bra. You've created this video to help any other individual who may carelessly stumble upon this, and your river of thought shall flow into an edited creative process. I do not care for your creation. Please do not take offense to this, for I did not know you created costumes. I merely only know you from other avenues. Tutorials are not why I am here. <laughs> and to that I say... Why am I here? What am I doing? Who am I? What is that? So much work. So much time. So much energy. Why am I even here? Why am I even trying? Oh, of course, no, it's never any offense. I've actually just recently uploaded a bunch of new stuff over on my only fans, my exclusive turbine. So if you're here for that kind of content, I timed it so with this release, there would be release over there. So if you're more into that kind of content, that's totally fine. No, my baby. Crafting is definitely just a really important part to me because it just genuinely feels really good to craft. I think I'm probably gonna be crafting until I'm an old lady. Who knows if I'm gonna do an old lady ludes though. Only grands. Uh, Meg Turney is actually going to be releasing her pyramid head costume soon as well, so I'm gonna need you to go follow her. Her links will be in the description. You wanna make a costume? I can help you make a costume. Just follow these simple <laughs> Okay, to start off, I started to start off just Hi, it's been three months since I've made a video. To start off. Pyramid Head's helmet is six different triangles all glued together. Two large for the front, two small thin ones for the side, and two medium triangles for the back. I cut two triangles into the pieces of the front section, then added in later a larger version of that hole so I could make those weird side panels with all those nubbins. I am kind of zooming through this because I was constantly making mistakes and cutting and recutting to make sure it worked, but I've added lots of links and tutorials for you to follow that are super in-depth and way better at explaining this than I have. They will help so much. I had to fandangle mine a lot because I messed up the measurements a lot, obviously. But 
but whatever. I used painter's tape to hold the pieces together and then folded them so the painter's tape was on the inside and then reinforced glue on the outside. I did that with every single side and piece of this triangle head. I wasn't too concerned with how clean everything was on the like connection points because I went through and added some EVA foam as like a little topper to each of the corners. Which is technically part of the design anyway, so we good. You can hear my chair. Again, I'm absolutely balls at uh, measuring stuff. So, so just watch me struggle here. Please look at the tutorials I linked down below. They're gonna help you so much more. And there's other pyramid heads that you can make. I think I was actually on a voice call with my friend Jono at the time and he was like helping me figure out the size to my body. <laughs> I forgot to record it, but there are an additional six pieces that act as like a lip or a trim around the base of the helmet that took far too long to figure out than I cared what went. I just took a little extra time to figure those out, cut them out, and then glue them to the sides. <laughs> I wasn't worried about it being clean because when you paint hot glue, it can look like metal welding. Huh, which is a great hack for lazy bitches like me! Little dippin' dots that are on the side of Pyramid Head's head in the front. Um, I just took these little foam circular dowel-y things and cut them in half and glued them all over. I drew some lines to make sure that they would be in the right place and w we were good! It worked perfect! I loved it! Pyramid Head also has a bunch of other like bolts and, and, and screws and stuff all over his head. So I took some additional dowels and soldered some little ridges and lines in them, cut that shit in half and then glued that all over as well. Oh, uh, just a quick reminder, I'm going to be putting all like the links to all the stuff that I use down below. So you guys, if you're like, the, where, where am I going to get this foam dowel, Jessica? I got you. In this particular design, he has these like pipes or like tubey, tubey things underneath the little dip and dot zone. I just took some plastic piping, put some little dowels at the end to make little end caps, and then glued it on underneath. You could also use a foam dowel or some PVC pipe or any other tube-like thing, uh, glow sticks, <laughs> that you want to throw on there to make it work. Anything can work. Use your imagination. Make it your own! It sounded like I fell in a hole. <laughs> I just glued those on and glued on the ridges. The ridges? What? <laughs> Welcome to my tutorial! <laughs> uh, make sure you go in and you actually uh, reinforce all the glue on the inside because when I had this guy sitting out here, this is the little quick prime. Yes, very nice. Primed in the garage. It actually fell apart and I had to re-glue a bunch of it because the glue... Well, I also live in Arizona, so you're probably not going to deal with that, but yes. I also made this out of a small ribbon dowel thingy. I just took some EVA bevels and then soldered some little notches in there and then put it all around this little, this little thing. I wasn't too fussed on the way this looked because we saw on the back of the helmet. Are you really going to see it? And the five foot rule. Yeah. Do not forget to reinforce your glue on the inside of your head. Then it was time to paint! Behind every paint job is a multitude of cosplayer sins, so make sure you load up on that paint and really, like, make, really make it look dirty. <laughs> Pyramid Head's been walking around in that fog for a while, so it's bound to get rusty from all the condensation. To achieve a rusted paint look, just use browns, reds, and oranges built on top of a base silver, and it will look sick. See, again, in that ridge, doesn't matter because it looks like welding. Let's go, baby. As you know, I'm a huge fan of weathering, so here's just me going through and essentially creating little patches of rust all over the helmet. You want to layer up all those colors to make it look like it's just, it's been around for a long time and it, it looks like if you just punched it the wrong way, it would just disintegrate. <laughs> but like, in all reality, are you going to really punch Pyramid Head? Dabbing on multiple layers of the reds, browns, and oranges will really, really simulate that rust look. I've also seen people use cinnamon and dirt mixed in with their paint to create a little bit more texture. I feel like you could kind of use anything. <laughs> Obviously when I say anything, don't put like mayonnaise or some shit on there. Unless... No, don't put mayonnaise on there. I thought about it. <laughs> I used a little bit of silver robin buff to bring back the silver through the colors after I layered them up. I also used a paint wash and then some airbrushing afterwards to bring in some more details. Painting like this is really therapeutic because you kind of can't do it wrong. Also, I guess that was a good time to say, if I didn't already say at the beginning, if you were a crafter or a creator and you see me doing anything and you're like, that, that's, oh, that's so bad. Uh, just go ahead and step in into the comments and be like, well, she may have used this technique in this moment of time. I would recommend this. You're totally welcome to. This is, my videos are more just like, hey, this is kind of how I did it. Maybe it can help you in general. And if not, that's okay too. I'm always honestly so surprised whenever anyone's able to actually use my tutorials to make like a cohesive costume. <laughs> because I feel like I'm awful at explaining it. Next is the big knife. 
I took some pink insulation foam and carved it out and sanded it down. I used a PVC pipe for the handle. I just took a heat gun and slowly heated it and then gently bent it. I would recommend wearing gloves when doing this or at least putting it on some sort of like heat resistant surface. I did not and it warped my little mat. I love that mat. God damn it! I then cut a small rectangle in the pink foam, the size of the PVC pipe so it would have some stability. I then hot glued the crap out of that. If I had to do this again, I would have maybe layered the foam a little more or used a smaller PVC pipe so that I could hide the top part of the glue of the pipe. But it was okay because I weathered it. I did a quick sketch of this pattern, copied it onto the foam, and then cut it out with an X-Acto blade. I usually buy these knives in bulk from any like a uh, hardware store because you go through them like crazy when you're using them on pink foam. I use this method for like everything under the sun. My Lionel sword, my Kirin bolts, my Pikachu tail and ears. Pink insulation foam is overpowered. I took some heavy grit sandpaper and kind of cleaned up some of the edges and then some uh, more fine uh, sandpaper to clean it up even more and make it a little bit more smooth. And then took a heat gun to collapse the foam a little bit to make it easier to seal. I wanted to make this, I want uh, Hello! I wanted to make the knife as tall as me because in every game and in every movie and everything, it, it's, it's, his arm span can fuck you up from so far away. One hit wonder. The knife ended up being about like five foot nine when I just stand it upright right next to me. It's a little bit taller because then I wore these like massive platform shoes with it to give me a little bit more height and intimidation because daddy is very scary. Oh, I didn't mean to be horny on main for monsters. This knife didn't take me long at all. I finished the carving and sanding in about four hours. A lot of adhesives actually melt pink foam, so I would just take the time to figure out what works best for you. I usually use a low heat glue gun. For the base of the knife, or like the, the hilt, or the mm, mm, whatever this part is called, I just used EVA foam to make a small box at the end of the sword and then filled it in with more EVA. For the small pummel or uh, knife butt, I just used EVA foam and made like a little pummel thing. And then I used a, some thin uh, EVA foam for the handle wrapping. And that's the end of my story. Let's talk about how Daddy <laughs> Pyramid hit us again. Oh, there I am wrapping it, woohoo! <laughs> just used two millimeter foam for this part. For the end of the pummel, I just took some pieces of EVA foam, cut them, and created a small hexagon that I would put over top of the PVC pipe at the end. I also just used a Dremel to smooth out any of the uneven pieces. Pink insulation foam on its own is actually quite a soft material, so I would definitely use some sort of sealant or hardening thing. I use about 8 to 10 coats of wood glue. That honestly makes it solid enough. You don't need it to be too, too hardcore. I then hit it with a couple of coats of high fill primer, sanded it down, and it was pretty smooth. And then I went and painted it! I just did the exact same style of painting as I did to the head. Some oranges, browns, tans, and some fakey blood with a little bit of airbrushing, and dude, I was so happy. This looks just like a stab stick. That sounds really bad. Then it was titty time. Titty time, crafting, making them bikinis. Hot glue and hot dreams, we making martinis. Pyramid head bikini, because yes, who cares? Here's my little sketch of my design. I wanted to incorporate some aspects of the pyramid head into the bra so that it would become all cohesive and look like it was meant to be. So for this bra top thing, I just took some strips of VVA foam and placed them into a triangle and then put some mesh fabric behind. I reinforced the crap out of the mesh fabric because I like to leave the fate of my boobs up to foam and fabric and hot glue. <laughs> I just used contact cement to connect everything and then a soldering iron to add extra details. High key designing bras and bikinis is like my favorite thing. So this was really, really fun for me. I wanted to be able to wear this in public. So I just took a little piece of EVA foam and made like a sensor bar across the triangles. But I just used EVA, some um, little half pearls for like nuts and bolts and then some just basic mesh. I ended up wearing pasties on the day too, just for some extra precaution because you, you never know. But yeah, just a little bit of uh, actually listen to this ASMR. Oh, tingly. Uh, I just used some silver rubber buff to uh, go over the black primer and then I went in and I weathered it like I did the helmet and the blade. Hell yeah! Just using that same technique of different reds, browns, grays for some rust. Just a couple of rusty tits. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I used a soldering iron to add some of those like gashes and stuff in the EVA before I started painting anything. So if you want to add a little bit more scuffedness to your costume, that's a really great way to go. For the strap around the back and up around the top of the neck of the bra, I just sewed some leather straps, just some regular pleather will do, and then I super glued it on. <laughs>
I too like to live dangerously. Super glue is what I should have used. I used contacts of it. This ended up peeling up, so I would recommend using super glue. I just use these little clamps to hold it in place. I think if I were gonna do this again, I would make some little loops at the top of the foam pieces and then loop some elastic through just to make it a little bit more comfy. I don't know why I always opt for like non-stretch things when I'm making bras, but it's fun. Because it wasn't stretchy, I was able to put this chain on there and it actually added a lot of character to it that I really, really liked. So, win some, lose some. I was quite stoked with this design choice. Um, I think if you're gonna be doing elastic, I would just use a needle and thread and sew the chain onto the elastic. Uh, but if you're doing leather, just glue that shit straight on and then use a little string at the top of the chain to tie it onto the back of your neck. Yeah, I just use contact cement. I remember when I would like never use contact cement and I was all about the hot glue. Now I just use it for everything. <laughs> Again, if you are gonna do it this way though, use super glue and reinforce the shit out of it. I just woke up, so excuse me, <clears throat> it's part two for recording. I saw so much amazing artwork of the female pyramid head with like a long dress and like a split leg. So I was like, hey, that's awesome. I wanna do that. So I took this stretch fabric to make the dress. I took two rectangles out of the stretchy scuba yayahan lycra stuff in white and just stitched two sides together, turned it inside out and boom. <laughs> Since it was stretchy, I was able to pull it up over my body and pinch it in places to take it in if I needed it. Bonsoir. There's my panties. And then it was time to paint it. So um, because it was starting out as white, I went through and I layered and layered and layered. This process took a bit longer just because I really wanted it to be like gross. <laughs> like so gross. So I just took a regular airbrush machine and just layered it. Um, I used a bunch of browns and reds and tans to really give it some depth, like it's skin, like he's wearing skin, cause it looks like his skin is and muscles and looks like a, like a skin. skin. What are you oh, I'm just talking about pyramid head. Yeah, I'd let him smash. Oh. <laughs> The bottom and the top of the dress, I wanted to make it look like I'd been like walking through just so much blood and gore and guts, so I went in really heavy with the paint. This process was just layers and layers and layers. I really wanted to make the dress look like it was stitched skin, so I took some puffy paint and just went over the darker lines and then did some cross stitches. Free feet content, woo! Um, and then some cross stitches across to make it look like someone had sat there and stitched it together. Puffy paint does dry shiny, so if you don't want that shiny look on your puffy paint afterwards, uh, just hit it with a matte Mod Podge or some kind of like matte spray and that'll take away the shine. And then I sprayed the ever-loving crap out of it with blood. Dude, it looks like skin, it's so gross. I love it. I also took a lot of time to do the inside of the skirt. Notice I also put it on a piece of paper so it wouldn't go on my carpet because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I then just sewed in a simple zipper and then glued these little EVA details onto the waist. And then she was done. I forgot to record it, but I ended up making some like, I, I wanted my pyramid head costume to look kind of like high fashion, kind of like couture death. Couture death is the new shit. I took the time to make some little arm cuffs and wrist cuffs that would go on top of my wet look pleather gloves. I just used the same technique of taking some EVA foam and soldering it to give it some gashes and everything, sealing it with Mod Podge or wood glue, and then painting it all rusty. I completely forgot to record the process of me making this like collar thing, but I just looked up on Pinterest some those rigid corset collar style things, and they had a couple of patterns on there, so I just copied those. I know there are some existing foam collar patterns, so I'll see if I can find some of those and put them down below for you but I wanted it to have like something to separate the body from the actual head and also something to hide the balaclava I was gonna wear. Hello. So I just did the same technique of using EVA foam and then rusting it out with silver and browns and reds and oranges. Creepy, sexy, daddy choker. <laughs> oh no. This is me trying it on with everything to make sure it didn't clutter my neck. Yay! To connect it in the back, I just used a little bit of Velcro. I got this cheap balaclava online. This was really great because if I was posing a certain way and you caught a glimpse of my chin, it would be dark underneath and it wouldn't ruin the illusion. This was also me test fitting the bra. I ended up actually using um, just safety pins for the neck and around the back as well. So it was pretty simple. But if uh, I were you, maybe install some plastic buckles. I forgot to mention, but I ended up making the dress a lot longer because I found these like ridiculous like fuck off mommy dom boots that I wore with the costume that made me super tall, but it also gave me enough clearance for the dress. So it looked like I was like otherworldly tall and creepy. This is the day of the shoot. I'm just gonna go over my makeup that I used really quick. I just used some Ben Nye cream character bases. <laughs> She's very happy about her plants. Uh, and some black eyeliner and blood to kind of make it look like veins and like creepy shit crawling out. So I was so happy with it. It looks so gross. <laughs> 
I'll put a, I'll, 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 I'll put a full list of products down below of what I used or what I recommend. I live in Arizona and I sweat a lot of stuff off. So the stuff I use is like, <laughs> that shit ain't coming off, baby. I guess I'm just a play date to you. shirt both ways I should probably wear bigger shirts thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for just following along and <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for just being here I really can't tell you guys how much I appreciate the fact that you guys are still into these videos and into the crafting videos nonetheless that makes me very happy so um yes Make sure to follow me over on my socials. I've got a Twitter, I've got an Instagram. You can find me over on OnlyFans. Again, being here and just supporting and just, I need to get you a little protective helmet, buddy, because I keep coming for you and I am so sorry. I'm just gonna put you over there, my sweet child. I think the next video is probably gonna be the Mercy full costume or another video that of a new costume that I've been making. So maybe, maybe, who knows? We don't know because I'm excellent at keeping a schedule. <laughs> Starcasm. I'm gonna go and do some stuff, probably play some more Among Us. And please stay after because in the credits there are some cool cosplayers that you can follow. So please go check the description. I put all their socials down below. Yeah. Thanks for watching me make daddy. I am a